Hey guys, this is Tension bringing you another raid video. Uh, just this morning, gonna do a quick little video of my account. Uh, had a few questions showing off my arena team, my raid team, uh, and just champions I'm currently working on. So it's Monday, so we got the case. Let's see what we get out of it. Uh, let's see, resistance. Ugh. Uh, pretty good helm if I get lucky. That is a very good weapon, actually. Oh my goodness. Okay, one out of three is not bad. I'll take it. And 60 gems is always nice. Nope. All right. Let's see. I just got on, so as you can tell, so. See if there's anything crazy in the market. It's actually not a bad chest for life. Might get that in a few minutes, but we'll see how it goes. Anywho, let's go ahead and go through my top 12 champions, maybe top 15, just show you what I have to work with here. So, um, I've been pretty fortunate. Pulled two legendaries on this account. Threw a lot of shards, though, so at <laughs> level 56, two legendaries. I don't know if that's considered good or bad, but um, as you can see, probably my top, my favorite champ of all of them is this one right here. My first legendary, I just love his mechanics, the way he works. He's a beast, and he's a beast everywhere. Uh, he's my campaign farmer until I leveled up my, leveled up my other one. Um, basically, I love him. <laughs> so uh, I got lucky. Um, I got three blue shards two days ago, and I should have done it on stream, but I pulled uh, Steel Skin, which is a beast in Clan Boss, and I also pulled uh, Rhyme Beast, which is uh, pretty good for Arena. Not sure if I'll actually use them, but hey, maybe I will. I also pulled uh, Shatter Bones, which I see quite a bit, so I might look into builds for him, but just, you know, leveling up the four star champions, level getting them up, so. But currently. And this will change because it's still uh, just being pulled. But currently, my team for Clan Boss. I'll show you after I open this. <laughs> not bad, not bad. I'll check those in a little bit. Currently, this is my team for Clan Boss. So, I'm thinking once I get him max level and geared, I will replace Doom Priest. I love Doom Priest, but she just doesn't bring damage to Clan Boss. Uh, Clan Boss only does one stun every three turns, so her debuff removal is not as important. Yeah, there's a you know poison every once in a while, but again, I think Doom Priest is the one to, to be changed out next, even though I have made videos I focus on her a lot. I'll still keep her probably for Arena just because I have her built so well. I literally win probably about 75% of my Arena matches in Gold 4, which I think is a great win ratio. I'm just going to auto this, so... But currently I'm doing around 10 mil to the uh, hard boss on auto. Uh, I did a, I, on a previous video, I did a little clip about how I was going to do 10 autos versus 10 manual battles and see how the result turned out because I posted about how you do more damage when you manually, manually fight uh, clan bosses, high level dungeons, all that stuff. The AI in this game is set to a certain way where it doesn't always do the most efficient um, order. For an uh, example, my Semptus, Semptimus, he will never use his A2. Now, his A1 has the ability to extend buffs, and that's why I believe the AI uses that consistently. The reason why this is not always the case is like in this scenario right now where I have 10 buffs, the extension really isn't needed. So I should actually stop him every once in a while. Oh, I was going to do it right there, but... And I should use his A2 because his A2 has a chance to do massive amounts of damage based on... The boss's current health, so you see 165k. Pretty damn good. But so I did a test and I have the numbers right here somewhere. Let's see. Da, da, da. Yeah. So I did uh, 10 auto battles on hard, I did 10 manual battles on hard. What I found was, um, and I didn't really upgrade my champs too much. There was a few pieces of gear, so the average might have increased towards the end. But on auto, I averaged 9.4 mil over 10 runs. Manual, I averaged 10.1. So, 700k more damage on manual versus auto on a hard boss. All 10 of these, or all 20 of these, were done on the clan boss when he had over 50% HP because I knew that once he dropped below 50, that could affect the data pretty, pretty significantly. Um, so, I think that just shows you how important it is if you are actually in a clan that's trying to down a boss or trying to get the most uh, most damage possible. Uh, you need to manual your fights. Uh, if you are 
super close to being able to one key the top reward of a boss. Manual it, don't auto it again. But I'm getting pretty lucky with these uh, buff extensions because some of these poisons I just had six turns on it. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, so I don't have too many debuffers right now. I only basically have the poison and the um, defense down from my legendary. So once I get a couple other like weakenings in there, maybe an H HP burn champion, I'll have to actually watch a little bit more. But I'm interested to see this actually might be a very uh, very high damage fight right here. I'm getting pretty lucky with all the procs and everything. So yeah, well, this is my account that I've been working playing this account for uh, literally I think it's been about uh, 42 days now. I have a mini. Um, I don't have it open right now, but uh, next time I'll go through that as well. Uh, the, the, my other account is free to play, and I have four legendaries and about 20 epics. I'm not even joking. Uh, it, the luck on that account is insane. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I posted a Reddit post about in 10 blue shards, I pulled three legendaries and one epic. So, absolutely insane. I could not believe it. I literally threw down my headset. I was like, holy shit. And then I had a, I sat here for 20 minutes trying to figure out what the hell I was going to do because it's like, well, four legendaries, I got to make this my main. But I was like, you know, I'm going to see how, how it feels to have good characters and not spend any money on it. And let me tell you, it is hard and a lot of time and effort to level up a legendary playing free to play. Um, most of the events, I'm actually a big supporter of the events. I know that people would get mad about them, but I think they're pretty fair. Uh, it is pretty hard to finish a lot of them as a free-to-play player, though, on my my mini account. So I do understand the frustration, but I will do a update on that account next time as well. So, all right, as this comes to the end, let's see how much I did. I feel like I'm going to do a lot more than normal. So let's see here. That was a, that was a pretty good run. Yeah, thirteen point nine. Oh my goodness, that's a new record for me on the hard boss. I'll take it. Going back to my champions, though, so like I said, you got my top five or my clan boss for people right now. Part of place, Doom Priest, with uh, Still School, once I get him up a little further. I love this champion, but I'm still trying to figure out the best ways to use her. Not only does she look cool, she's just got some you high high utilization abilities and everything. Got an HP Purden champion I'm working on. Uh, I'm constantly building up other champions as well. Uh, eventually, the goal is to not only have faction... Uh, enough champions for faction wars, but also have five blues, five greens, five reds that I can alter in whenever I need them. And this is my campaign farmer right here. I got him built to clear 12 free brutal in seven seconds every time. Pretty insane because he's uncommon, but you, he's picking up traction. And I'm just, I'm just hoping when this patch does hit, I think it's coming this week. They don't nerf this guy. I'd be mean, really annoyed if I put you know five million silver and all the time and effort to farm him up for him to get a slight nerf. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I just want to do a quick video. I got some uh, pretty exciting content coming later this week. It's Monday. Got to get, get to work, and uh, but I want to get make sure I upload or something. So got the cats yelling at me, so I need to make sure I feed them. We got three cats, by the way, so I'll uh, show them eventually on stream. As always, thanks for watching, guys.